Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst and PJ Vick and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for checking out today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holston. On today's show, uh, we get to go off on the type of ice fishing adventure that I, I personally really enjoy. Uh, I'm sure it's great fun to get out on those big lakes that have all, all the plowed roads and the hard side houses. But if I had to choose one type of trip that I would uh, be a part of for the rest of my life, give me a snowmobile, a snowmobile trail to nowhere, and the opportunity to just go pound around some back country and explore some small lakes that in most cases receive very little fishing pressure. So that's what today's show is all about. It's me and Josh Bolivant. Many of you know Josh, he's the manager of Trapper's Resort on Leech Lake. On this particular day, we don't head out into Leech Lake. We turn the snowmobile south and we head off into the forest down one of the many miles of snowmobile trails that often connect these hard to fish or hard to access lakes in the summer. And you never know what you're gonna find. Are you gonna drop on a lake that's just full of trophies and low numbers, or is it gonna be a numbers bite? Uh, I'm not gonna spill the beans on this one. You gotta stick around to see for yourself. But today, it's me and Josh Bolivan on snowmobiles, exploring some of the snowmobile trails in northern Minnesota, looking for a great panfish bite here today on In-Depth Outdoors. Did you see all those wolf tracks when you come on the lake? I did. There's, there's some, I mean, I don't know enough about wolves to know if they're big or little, but those are big dog tracks. Yeah, they're very, very big. And there's lots of them. Is there? How's your deer population holding on? Uh, it's doing pretty good in the area, oh, good. but plenty of wolves around too. All the deer come live in the resort yard? Yep. <laughs> they feel a little bit safer there, I think. I don't blame them. Well, it's kind of cool to know they're around. Yeah. Start drilling out this little basin into the point. It makes like a cup here. Yeah. So it looks like most of the activity was right back here. Yep, right on the deep side of it. I'll get the uh, Mega Live cooking and we'll I'll drill holes. Well, we'll see if we can spot some fish anyway. Hey Josh, they're this way. Yep. So I've got my range kind of cranked up here a little bit, but you can see them right there on the edge. I'd say six, maybe eight crappies, maybe more. Punch one right there and then go straight away for me, 20 feet, punch another one. Yep, right on top of them. You can see the explosion from where that auger went through. So I gotta move. There we go. That one hit it like he meant it. Yeah. Oh, there's a nicer one. A little bit better. Get a decent one? Yeah, let's get decent. Those are the ones we're starting to look for. Let him go. 
had to switch to a little heavier jig to get down to them fast enough. Here they come. Oh, that one's really chasing it. There we go. These ones are aggressive. Another nice one about the same size again right there. Right in the beak. That one came about, they're 20 feet down and that one came probably up into 16 feet below the ice to get the jig. Try and stay above them. Also switched to white today. That tends to stick out a little bit more in the stained water too. One of my favorite color combinations, white and red. Oh, here comes another one. More of them just showed up over here. Well, good. I made enough noise over here to hurt them your way. They should have <laughs> gone that way. It worked out good. Oh, here comes one flying up. There we go. I want to move closer to you, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I don't want to jinx any, any of the mojo we got working right now. They're staying there. That one's a little bit smaller, but he was yeah. very, very aggressive. Power your passion with Norsk Lithium. Check your charge with the push of a button or power accessories with USB ports. Norsk Lithium combines weight savings and technology to achieve performance others can't. Four capacities are available, designed for the way you fish. Choose our ultra lightweight batteries for smaller sonar units. Step up to our high capacity batteries, designed to power live imaging and 360 sonar. Norsk Lithium, setting the standard for lithium batteries. Strike Master dedicated to continuous innovation. Choose one that fits your style. Strike Master Ice Augers. See the full lineup at strikemaster.com. At Humminbird, we make products that are always ready for your next adventure. With unparalleled mapping, sonar, and live technologies at your fingertips, to help you find, catch, and stay on more fish. Humminbird, simply, clearly. There you go. I might be on the there board. Felt the little bluegilly there. Hey, that's a pretty decent little bluegill. Oh. Get that one unhooked. I'm fishing a perch colored bull spoon just because I wanted to see if that spoon wouldn't help me catch some of the bigger fish. I mean, what we're seeing here is just huge numbers. And when you see that, typically it means there's a lot of smaller fish mixed in. And if I can avoid it, I like to catch mostly big fish, but that's not what I'm after. Hopefully by the end of the day, we're able to catch some of those nicer crappies. And I'll fire that one back, get back at it. Yeah, they do not like it. When you pull fish out of that school, even, it, even though you're being careful to take them from the top of the school, they don't stick around very long, they're gone. <laughs> so here's that bull spoon, just real perchy on one side, gold on the other. Obviously, there's lots of perch and bluegills. I mean, that, that'll qualify as a, a bluegillish color too. So, and then on the working end there on the hook, I've just got a ton of the Euro larva just wadded up. I may switch yet. I mean, Josh has definitely caught more fish, but I just, that was my first drop. So it worked out. 
Josh has got another one. Got another one here. Here's another nice one. That one came all the way up to 10 feet below the ice out of that school to chase that jig falling down. That's when you know they're kind of on a little feeding frenzy right now. We're going to let that one go and drop it back down. There's still a few other ones down there. So raised up. I'm kind of doing the same as what James is. I just got a small tungsten jig with a whole bunch of euros on it. I usually like to stick five or six on there where he's got the jigging spoon. I just went with the little tungsten jig there. White on these little bit of stained lakes every once in a while works really, really well. There he is. What do we got here? Just small crappie, I'm gonna guess. Nope, bluegill. He didn't do the bluegill thing. That's a chubby one. I mean, that's almost, that's approaching legit. It's a decent fish. I'll take a whole bunch of those, but uh, not missing many meals. Later, dude. It did its best to get away, wrap me around that transducer cord about a half dozen times like the bluegills like to do. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> I don't want you anyways. I want the bigger red mark that was with you. There we go. Nope. They're chubby. Whatever they're feeding on, they're getting a bunch of it. Yeah. Maybe that's why they're just so picky. You know, decent, just average eater gill. I'm not keeping fish today. Had to switch over. Josh was making uh, me second fiddle there pretty hard. <laughs> he was fishing a jig and I was going with the spoon there for a while and they weren't having any of it. Well, I caught one fish on the spoon first drop and after that they, they wised up. So what I'm fishing there is a 1 16th ounce VMC uh, tungsten jig and the body is a wing ding. I don't know what a wing ding is, but that's what, that's what I'm fishing. <laughs> and then I put a couple of Euro larvas on them and that's working. They didn't want you know, anything quite as aggressive as that spoon. But as we come into late afternoon, I'll definitely try it again. There he went. Did you finally get one to pop off? Yep. I was about to reel up and then uh, a, fresh a fresh bat showed up. Boom. Ooh. I like that one. He came up and cracked it. See that tip on the tickle stick just drop. He's no giant, but bigger anyway, bigger than the last one. There's something to be said for getting off the uh, beaten path like we're doing here today. I have no problem spending my entire day back here away from the world. <laughs> I mean, nobody can complain about here in augers anymore, right? Back, you know, 10 years ago, yeah. I'd be like, gosh, you're back here and haven't even heard a single auger all day long. Well, nobody hears augers anymore. They're all electric, but no snowmobiles, no generators, no trucks, nothing. No vehicles. You can't even hear the, we're far enough off the highways. If I hear a wolf howl off in the distance, you might see me shed a tear of joy. <laughs> Good chance for that if we stay till sunset. Really? Yeah. That'd be worth it. At Eskimo, our pledge is to create products that will help you enjoy your time on the ice. The Outbreak series offers a first of its kind full panel no trip door. This means less hassle loading in and out of the shelter, especially while wearing bibs and boots. With five sizes of Outbreak available, we have you covered. Whether you're packing light, fishing in a larger group, or ice camping for the entire weekend. To find the model that's right for you, visit GetEskimo.com. Strike Master, dedicated to continuous innovation. Choose one that fits your style. Strikemaster Ice Augers. See the full lineup at strikemaster.com. Power your passion with Norsk Lithium. 
check your charge with the push of a button or power accessories with USB ports. Norsk Lithium combines weight savings and technology to achieve performance others can't. Four capacities are available, designed for the way you fish. Choose our ultra lightweight batteries for smaller sonar units. Step up to our high capacity batteries, designed to power live imaging and 360 sonar. Norsk Lithium, setting the standard for lithium batteries. At Humminbird, we make products that are always ready for your next adventure. With unparalleled mapping, sonar, and live technologies at your fingertips. To help you find, catch, and stay on more fish. Humminbird, simply, clearly. This one feels a little bit nicer. Oh yeah. That's a good one. That's getting to the size. Nice thick fish nice too. Nice respectable, yeah. Let that one go. There it goes. Fix this up. See if we get another one down there. Boy, they are coming up a long ways now. I mean, my fish are at 19, 20 feet and they're coming up 13, 14, 15 feet to eat. Yeah, I might be, have to move up a little bit. I can Ooh. see them down. You get the crappies, they're starting to be a little bit more aggressive, it looks like. I'll take them. And I got the school sitting still. There hasn't been a lot of that today. There we go. Oh, well, this one's got a little bit of weight, it feels like. Mm -hmm. Oh, another crappie. That one's not a bad one. I guess about the same size as your last one. Stick him back down. Yeah, I think you gotta be three, four feet above that school to get him to commit right now. So I wanna just share some uh, basic principles about how we use Mega Live when we're chasing panfish like, like this. And uh, of course, the first thing that needs to happen is you need to locate the school. And uh, one of the things that we've noticed is you can kind of drive yourself crazy, always trying to punch that next hole right on top of the school. Um, it goes without saying that when you punch that hole and you make that noise, there's a lot of days, not always, but there's a lot of days that that school is gonna scatter. And if the next thing that you do is reacquire the school and punch another hole on it, all you're doing is just chasing the fish around. So what we like to do is we locate that school and then we'll just punch uh, ever wider circles of holes around the general area where we first found that school and then we stop. And what we find is the fish calm down, they fall back into a, uh, a, a pattern of feeding and we know the area that they want to be in, that area where you first acquire the school, as long as you give yourself just some extra coverage, some extra area for that school to kind of bounce around, what we find is because we're no longer punching any holes, uh, we're not disturbing them, they get back into a real natural feeding pattern, and then we've always got holes where we need them. Uh, the, the, that big school of crappies and bluegills, it's always moving. It's very rare for one of those big schools to just camp in one spot and stay there. So by giving ourselves that pattern of holes in an ever wider circle around the Mega Live, uh, anytime the school kind of disappears on us, all we do is we just come back from the hole that we're fishing, get back here over on the Mega Live and just give it a big sweep to find out where that school went to. And right now, I mean, you can see it. There they are, just a big slick of them. Just a little bit, maybe 25 feet to the left of Josh is where that school's at. And the general pattern that we've noticed here today is the fish are moving in a counterclockwise fashion around this basin of deeper water. And that's just what we keep seeing is 
We just need to co constantly be moving counterclockwise from where we find that big school of fish and that keeps us out in front of that school. And I mean, we've caught tons of fish today, so. Hey, Josh. Yeah. Left. Left? <laughs> it's unbelievable how many fish are over there. If you mess with the bull, the fish get the horns. The bull spoon comes in 16 different colors with ultra glow and UV bright patterns designed to sink fast and trigger aggressive strikes. And that's no bull. From jigs to spoons, see it all at bmchooks.com. Power your passion with Norsk Lithium. Check your charge with the push of a button or power accessories with USB ports. Norsk Lithium combines weight savings and technology to achieve performance others can't. Four capacities are available, designed for the way you fish. Choose our ultra lightweight batteries for smaller sonar units. Step up to our high capacity batteries, designed to power live imaging and 360 sonar. Norsk Lithium, setting the standard for lithium batteries. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Digging. A little bit of shoulders. Just trying. Yeah. Decent crappie. There's just an absolute zoo full of these things down there. <laughs> there goes one. He's into one. This is the type of bite. Are they trophies? No. But this is the kind of experience that got me to fall in love with ice fishing. <laughs> Hop on a snowmobile, rip down a trail, pop out on a small lake, punch some holes. The technology's changed, you know, the equipment's changed, but the experience for me, it's still the same. No noise, no people, generally. I mean, maybe somebody will wander through here at some point today, but no big deal. The point is, it's pretty much ours, and it feels very different than getting out on a big lake where there's people all around you. And the fish are everywhere. Good population of them. Yes. Crappie, bluegill, I don't know. There must be some really nice bass in here, right? Yeah, there is. Gook. A good large mouth. One after another. See you later, dude. I would bet my bottom dollar there's giant crappies in here. There is. Just haven't seen them yet. <laughs> and I'm sure they cycle on size. I mean, there is just a ton of 10 to just short of 12 inch crappies in here. Give it a few years and then they'll be on the top of the size cycle. And I'm sure you'll spend a little bit more time back here. Oh That's yeah. That's a nice gill. That's a really nice glue, blue gill. <laughs> Oh, here comes the army. Got him. Bunk. Crappy. Chill. There we go. Like I said, there's just the biomass, the number of fish in this size. Just crazy. Little guy, somebody chewed on his tail fin there at some point. So here's the equipment for the day. We're both fishing tickle sticks. That's a 13 fishing rod. I'm fishing the 27 inch light tickle stick. I've got one of their blackout Kalon 0.5s for the real four pound test suffix uh, advance and that little wing ding, that one 16th ounce wing ding with some Euro larva on it. 
I mean, that's just pan fishing basics right there. And everything is easy once you get on top of a big school like this. Especially when they finally stop. Oh, there he is. Ooh, this one's digging. Comes, oh yeah, heck yeah. That's a dandy. I had three, four of them like that today. Awful darn nice. Hey, chill, chill, chill. Yeah, that's getting legit. I like that. I like those genetics, they're going back. They're coming back on the lake. All right, see you later, fish. This has just been an awesome day. Silence, solitude, more, I probably, I can't remember the last time I caught this many fish. I mean, all sizes, of course. We haven't hit the giants on the crappies. Bluegills have been pretty nice. We won't be here a lot longer. It'll start getting darker pretty quick. There's another one. Or you're just gonna wear out from catching fish. <laughs> Got another one. That's a nice bluegill there. Things wrapped up around it. That's a really dandy bluegill. Did you get the one you were looking for? That is. Oh yeah, that one's deep, so, thick. Deep one there. I like the purple hue on that one. I know, you can see it with the little stripes going down it. Yep. All right, there we go. Well, that brings us to the end of today's show, and I've got to you know, end this one just by pointing out uh, so much attention is you know, placed on the most popular lakes in Minnesota, uh, all those roads, wheel houses, uh, those lakes that you know, might have a great walleye bite, but they do get a lot of pressure. Uh, this is the kind of experience that I live for. Almost all of the most enjoyable days on the ice for me in the last 20 years have started in almost the same way. Sunrise, hop on a snowmobile, rip down a snowmobile trail, and just see what you find. So huge thanks to Josh Bolivant. He's the manager of Trapper Resort. It's a beautiful resort. It sits right on the shoreline of Leech Lake. Most of the time, people going out of this resort, they go out into Leech Lake to chase the walleyes. Today, we just turned the snowmobiles in a different direction, got down that snowmobile trail, and let me tell you, we didn't catch any giant fish, but I had a phenomenal time, and it brings me back to the reason why I love ice fishing so much. You get out there on these hard to access lakes, the peace, the solitude, getting to see all the wolf tracks, it really makes me whole again as an angler. So if you get a chance, make sure you try this general approach to getting on some hard to find panfish bites. I think you're gonna really enjoy your time out there on the ice. So from all of us here at In-Depth Outdoors, thanks for watching, we'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In-Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.